Well, in my quest of looking for parts for this 93 Kawasaki Bayou 300 four-wheel drive, I ended up picking another, picking up another four-wheeler, and it just turned it. The other four-wheeler is going to be more of a project than this. Uh, this here thing, actually, I got it. I jerry-rigged the stator, so uh, it's putting out power, and it'll run without a battery and a jump pack. But it only idles. As soon as you hit the gas, it'll kill it. I guess that's normal for these bayous. You have to have a good battery in it. Um, basically, the ground wire and the stator coil was burned up. So, I have to run it with the jump pack. Plan on getting a battery this week. And then, it'll run and ride. The next thing, I'll be working on brakes. And then tires, one day I'm going to come out here with a razor blade and start uh, scraping the fenders. But this video is about this thing, Kawasaki Bayou 300 two-wheel drive. I believe it's a 300, that's what I was told it was. Uh, obviously, the wiring harness is just a freaking mess. I'm not even going to try to put a battery in it and start it. Uh, I ended up getting this in a trade. I traded my uh, nine and a half inch FTS suspension lift kit for 88 to 98 Silverados. I wanted a thousand bucks for it, and then I wanted 500, which that was a killer deal because it's over four thousand dollars now. Well, I found this on Marketplace. I saw that the dude drove a Silverado, and I just made him offer, "Hey, I got this lift kit sitting. It'll fit your truck. I need to buy you for parts." And earlier today, I made the trip, and I got this quad. Fortunately, it's two-wheel drive, so the tires are the wrong sizes. Um, I don't think I'm going to steal the stator from this to put in mine. I, I would like to try to get this running, but it was ran without an air filter. It does have compression, but the adjusting screw for the timing chain tensioner is broke off. That's a little concerning. Got amp wire for starter cable, and everything is just jerry-rigged. So, first thing I'm going to do, get the carburetor off, check the timing, do a compression test. The starter works. But it won't spin, it won't crank the engine over. So I think it might need a one way bearing. Or the chain might be broke, I don't know. Like, uh, I literally just pulled the rear fender off, which right here, took the seat off, cut a couple of zip ties. That's what's left of the air box, it's melted. But, uh,. This is what they had for air cleaner on here. Rubber boot in between this plastic piece and the carburetor. And you see all that shit in there. If I do get it running, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a mosquito fogger. But that's all right, top ends aren't that bad. Uh, there's a Kawasaki Bayou 300 two wheel drive engine on Facebook. And somebody just chopped it out of the frame it's got bits and pieces of the wiring harness on it so and it has a carburetor so 50 bucks yeah that i'll go buy that i don't think it has a pull start which this one here is busted off the screws are broke not really too worried about it at least get this electric start to work i'll be fine like the case has got a crack there and somebody tried to fill it with uh RTV, which not too worried about it. First thing I want to do, make sure that the engine's good, got compression, and it's end time. Uh, and then I'm going to remove all this wiring, take it inside, put it on the workbench, get a wiring diagram, and I think I'm just going to build a new wiring harness. I mean, this is obviously not factory. So, I mean, I'll, I'll try to salvage what I can out of it. 
but that's just a big mess. I'll do a test of the regulator. Hoping the CDI is good. So, front rack obviously not original. I cannot find the VIN number for the life of me. I don't know where it's at. Just notice this control arm here looks. No, it's that's supposed to be like that. Got drum brakes up front. I'm gonna remove the front fenders. Get a better look at the front of the frame. Everybody was saying, oh, they're down by the foot peg. Yeah, well, there ain't no VIN number there. I'll get a wire brush. But uh, normally you see the VIN number even if it's been painted over. And it's not, it's not under the frame rail. No, it's smashed. But I was hoping maybe it'd be up here on this rail. I don't know. I don't know where it's at. I'll get the fender off. Get a better look at it. What I like to do is get the fender off. Get this wiring harness stripped off. Get the carburetor off of it. Load it back up in my truck. Take it to the car wash and power wash it. This thing is dirty. And uh, notice there's a solenoid here. So I got a solenoid on this one, but I got a garden tractor solenoid on it. And it's just zip tied. So I'm hoping that this will fit the solenoid mount on here. Put a correct solenoid on it. But yeah, this was supposed to be a parts quad. I thought it was four wheel drive. It didn't really send me a lot of pictures of it, you know. Uh, I didn't care, you know. Even two wheel drive, I'll still make use of it. Uh, Obviously, it was black, so I believe it would have the green and white Kawasaki Bayou stickers on it. I mean, the fenders are fucking, they're junk, but uh, I'll plastic weld this stuff together. Remove the paint, sand these down, try to buff them the best I can. And then I'll just uh, you know, do the same with these. This one here, I'm going to have to get creative. I'm not buying fenders for this. Like just like to get it black again and then get the correct decals for it paint the wheels white Just make it run might have to swap the engine like I said I think it's gonna smoke like hell if I do get it running And if it don't cool, but if it does like I said, I got to go pick up that other engine off marketplace for 50 bucks he Said it was supposed to run but it had electrical problems and the guy just got sick of it Cut the engine out of the frame and parted it out. It's a two-wheel drive one, which freaking sucks because the freaking plastics on it were a hell of a lot nicer than these. And I believe he threw them away. So I guess I should have got that quad when I had the chance. Now I'm just getting the engine out of it. And this here fucking thing, I thought this is a kickstart. I don't know what the fuck this is. There's a spring there. It looks like this might pull up different settings maybe it's a oh shit maybe that's a parking brake of some sort freaking push this down and then fucking lock this over to hold the brake yeah I don't know jack shit about these two-wheel drive 300s yeah, this is just gonna be a beater I mean fuck this is a beater but original long-term plan is get these fenders nice and red again get new tires on it eventually later on in life i'd like to strip it all down sandblast everything paint it all go through the engine rear axle front axle replace everything get this thing looking good this one i don't know i just have to see what it what shape the engine is in and see what I can find for parts on marketplace like I said I don't want to spend 
thousand dollars in parts on this thing for it just to be you know three hundred dollar piece of shit at the end of the day well this video is 10 minutes long i'm just rambling but yeah this is uh, yeah another fucking project i did not need